The study was conducted in a desert patch in Sharjah United Arab Emirates. Pit traps were deployed alongside a wall, and here in one of the traps we have the darkling beetle Prionotheca coronata. A single Prionotheca coronata would be taken out of a trap. As you can see, this one has already began, assuming a defensive posture. It would then be placed onto the sand to allow it to assume its defensive posture there. Now this defensive posture involves the beetle sticking its head down into the sand and raising its posterior. Notice the sharp spines on its inner rear legs and abdomen. The beetle rotates when I strike the sand 90 degrees to its left. It also rotates when I strike the sand 90 degrees to its right. But when I do this directly behind the beetle, it does not rotate. It only rotates when I strike the sand to its right or to its left. The beetle does not respond when I touch it on top or below its abdomen. However, it responds when I touch it between its abdomen and leg. This time, the beetle managed to pinch me when I touched it below its abdomen. Notice how it rotates in response to my finger. There was no response when I touched it to the side of its abdomen, but it wedges my finger in between its leg and abdomen when touched in that region. This clip shows you just how effective the spines are on its hind legs. After it wrapped its legs around my finger and squeezed very hard, the spines were able to puncture my skin and draw blood in the process. Out of the 50 beetles caught, 42 assumed a defensive posture throughout a broad range of temperatures. Over half of the time, the beetles rotated when the sand was struck 90 degrees to their left and right. However, no rotation occurred if the sand was struck directly behind the beetles. Stimulation of different body parts led to different response rates. They were least likely to respond to being touched on top of their abdomen. They were also unlikely to respond to being touched on the bottom of their abdomen without any leg contact. However, being touched on the right and left sides of the abdomen without any leg contact resulted in a small increase in response rate. But the highest response rate was observed when contact was made in between the abdomen and both left and right hind legs.